drink on Sunday. Should we ask people who know? Yes, let's do it. Come on. Here they are. Jane Thorwell and Christian Dean. <laughs> It's like a moment from stars in your eyes. Hold on a sec. What are you going to be? Come and join us, Chris. Come, Come and join us, Jane. Hey, lovely to see you. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you for coming in. Uh, so, what act are you going to be? It feels like you're going to be Sonny and Cher or someone like that. It was, there was like the moment that's on stars in their eyes. Oh, like right, that. yeah, no, um, gosh, tall and deep. <laughs> we wouldn't want you to be anybody else. We've um, been worried about you all morning. And whether Jane's you're going to be... always worried about me. Uh, <laughs> she has to. Uh, uh, whether you're going to be re ready, because we heard the news, you've broken a bone. Richard Arnold told us it was just your finger. Let's see here some evidence, Chris. Where is this finger? Oh! <laughs> Assuming that this was mid triple cell co flip, yes. back flip, something or other. It was the Iron Maiden from Blades of Glory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, it was a darkened room. <laughs> what? Just fell over in the dark. You tripped over <laughs> in the dark. Yeah, I was nowhere near him. It was nothing to do with me. <laughs> Not safe off the ice, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> we took a risk getting you to walk through that bog, didn't yeah, we? That was and our that best dry ever, I think. I know. Uh, when, so, when Chris calls you, Jane, and he says, Oh, Jane, I've broken the back, did, did he tease you a little bit and make it seem like it was going to be a little bit more dramatic than maybe the little finger might suggest he didn't actually he was just, i think he was annoyed with himself i didn't tell just, her for like a couple of days i know oh by the way i broke my finger what <laughs> <laughs> so we've I, had to go through all this lifting process and can what? i do it so it's like a three-fingered affair now so it is actually impacting on on what you're doing yeah, yeah. And, and at first i was afraid like if i grabbed his hand because we we're always holding hands yeah. as well like, i didn't want to hurt it anymore but he's got a splint and bless him he's a gentle little thing I mean, he's got you to be i've never had so much attention about body parts <laughs> <laughs> oh i don't know chris i don't believe that's true i don't believe that's true i mean it, you must have broken bones and things over the years last year i fractured my wrist actually yeah and first day sadly, on the ice. <laughs> sadly it was like a beginner first day on the ice i just did one of those silly falls where you just slip and put my hand down and you never should put your hand down, but I did. <laughs> I was like, well... It happens to the best of us. <laughs> it does. Well, famously, of course, when Andy mm. came on the show, Andy Peters, <laughs> oh, God, he broke his ankle really suddenly. Yeah. I mean, that's the point. This is the thing I always go, because I was lucky enough to do a few spin-off shows of Dancing on Ice and got to do some skating. I know how painful it is, Jane. I mean, I was particularly horrendous. Me and Colleen oh. did our bolero, uh, which wow. is still burned into the minds of the people there on the day. <laughs> There's nothing like a hop, skip, and a jump on the ice, is there? It was particularly awful. Look at this. I think I was Drake. That was the window cleaner or something. I've forgotten that. Did then. you forget that we did this bit? Yeah. I think, I think Colleen's been trying to forget ever since as well. How could you forget? <laughs> <laughs> how, how are they feeling, Jane? About Because it's the first, often it's the first time they fall over and hurt themselves that they realise what they've put themselves up for, the, mm. the celeb. I think when we met them all at boot camp, they were very, very nervous because they... Um, sadly, they're sent onto the ice all by themselves, and we're standing there in the middle waiting to see what the, they can do. And they go from the edge of the ring, and they got come to us in the centre. Yeah, they're we terribly nervous. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I remember first taking my daughter ice skating, and um, having done it a little bit when I was younger, just a tiny little bit, but feeling like I was all right. And we got one of those penguins, and she was fine, and I couldn't let go of the penguin. Yeah. Let go of the penguin. <laughs> and you forget, and I think the older get you do, you get more oh, fearful yeah, of absolutely. falling. So how does this year's cast look to you? Because Joey Essex has already confessed he didn't even know what a bolero was. <laughs> Joey, he's priceless, that's for sure. But he's very, very passionate. I really Is think he? he's taken it on board. I mean, he said he skated when he was younger. But when we saw him in boot camp, you wouldn't have known me. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, and, and I always say, if you're not falling, you're not trying. And he's been falling quite a lot. <laughs> but he is very passionate about it. And he's got, I think we've got so many good characters. Yeah. There's a lovely line. Ek and Sue came in here, Jane, when she was probably covered in bruises. Has she got some form? Um, she's been doing well. She's been working as hard as she can. Unfortunately, she's, um, we just heard um, literally that yeah. she's not feeling well ah. today. Um, but hopefully she, she'll be ready. She'll be ready for Sunday, I'm sure. And more importantly, Chris is going to be ready with his little finger. Absolutely. Mm. Ring ready come Sunday. <laughs> Thank you so much for We're going to bling this up each week. I think, yeah, yeah, I think you should. I want to diamond and crush it. It should have its own moment. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to see you both. Thank you. Uh, good morning, Britain. Back on Monday from 6. Now here's Lorraine.